All right, so we got the shoes stretched, got them over there. Yeah. Now, what's the next project? Well, I think lunch should be on the agenda. <laughs> lunch? It's I not. I asking to go to lunch. It's not lunch yet. I own the business, Joe. Then you close early for once. I know, but you know, what if a customer comes here and they want to buy five thousand dollars worth of shoes from you at twelve forty-five, and your doors are locked, and they okay. have to go somewhere else? Right. Then we're gonna go in there and cut patterns. Oh no. Maybe we should go to lunch sure first. Uh oh. Okay. So Joe, <laughs> it's so nice to have a famous person doing my windows. When's the last time you had this washed, by the way? Come on. Hey, I'm busy and they're doing shoes. Your customer, this is this is something that if your customers see a dirty window, yeah, they might not want to come in. You know what? I'm so glad you're here to point that out. And you're doing a fine job. And so you were saying, is newspaper better than paper towel? Yes. If you have newspaper, um, that seems to work really good. It gets up, it gets on your hands a little bit, but um, it really makes them squeaky clean. So I hope you do a thorough job because I don't want to have to point out any uh, blemishes yeah. later to you because that would be embarrassing. That's why I don't like to work for people. <laughs> <laughs> But it looks like it's still dirty, but that's on the inside, so yes. Yeah. I'll have to wash that too. And then how come you don't use a squeegee? Well, because then you need a bucket of water and you gotta be all set up for that. So this way seems to do okay. If, if I had lots of windows to do, then I think the squeegee would be the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Because wow. along with the squeegee, you need that other thing that soaps it all up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go inside now. Okay, super. I got things to do. I'll see you later. <laughs> nice little town of Wailuku. Wish you were here. Joe, I need a tool belt. Wait, what did you say you needed? I need a tool belt. For what? For my stuff. So uh, I wouldn't have to come over here. I could just have it all on me and work on that shoe right there. Yeah. Wouldn't it be, it be cool if you had a pink one? <laughs> I bet be you really you could get cool. one somewhere. I've never I seen them. I've never seen them in the store, but you know, <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be really awesome. Hey, so yeah. I was asking you earlier. I don't think I got an answer. What got you into the shoe business? All right. Well, Why on earth would you want to repair shoes all day? <laughs> Okay, I don't want to repair shoes all day. Okay. But I will say that um, I chose shoes because it was the most economical thing to do on Maui at the time. Uh -huh. Made shoes, just bought shoes for women with big feet, cross dressers. Then had to get, then I got real women in with really big feet who needed help. So I used the local shoe repair guy. Yeah. And then he was going out of business because it's hard to make money in the shoe repair business. So right. He offered for me to buy it. I bought it, and he trained me for two years, and here I am. Awesome. Still needing a tool belt. Yes. Yes. We'll have to do something about that. <laughs> you know what the best rewarding job is ever? No, it's not owning a shoe store or repairing shoes. <laughs> for Terry, that can be the case. She's out there helping people and giving back to the community. And she not only is doing that, she is now excited about the fact that she can bring it to YouTube and show others how to fix their shoes and how to do other cool things in the shoe business. Now, what's in it for you? What could be really exciting for you? That's something you have to decide. And you know what? 
you can bring that to the world with videos and put them on YouTube and make some money while you're doing it. What could be better than that? How many people in this world are not enjoying the job that they're doing? Probably, I'm going to guess 97% of people do not enjoy their work. Wouldn't it be cool if you could do something that was your passion, that you didn't consider a job, and that you could make money on? That's the beauty of YouTube. You can make your videos and put them there. That's what I would do. I got a question for you. What is the meaning and the purpose of life anyways? When you get ready to go six feet under, what do you wish your life would have entailed? You know, my answer to that is making a difference, doing something, giving back, giving something of your talents to other people. And you know, when you do that, it makes you feel good. Try it. And you can do that with your videos. You can show others how to do something really cool that you've learned how to do. You know? And you make money with it too. Alright. That's all I have for this time. Think about it.